I got a new product from Amazon today and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it. Time to play with some clay. These are foam grip tubes that you can order on Amazon. They're small foam tubes. And uh, I've got these tools. After a while, you get your fingers, at least my joints start getting tired of holding a small handled tool. And so I bought this to give me some grip. Let's see if I can find my scissors. So I just uh, slide this onto the uh, tool, and now I got a lot more control. Or at least I think I do. I don't know. It might be too thick. But I'm going to try it and see what happens. I just noticed that there are different uh, hole sizes in these uh, foam uh, tubes. This one's the smallest, which is fine for the tool I was using, but these are much wider and uh, for bigger tools. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to continue working on my tools, and then I'll be right back. All right, I took my uh, needle part of my caliper and I stuck it down through the clay all around the base of the uh, crown so I know exactly where to dig out clay since this part is exposed I've got to have the area for the hat for the head they fit in and I just figured I'd get that taken care of before I uh, do what I'm going to do next on the uh, hat Okay, what I'm going to do next is, the clay is a little soft. What I'm going to do is have the hat kind of slope down from the uh, crown. So that would be the characteristic of a uh, straw hat. I'll get, I'll come back when I get this uh, <sighs> done on that part. This little notch is where her hand fits in. I have to make it look like it's in the hand, and the only way I could do that is by making a notch for the hand to fit in it. Sculpting is figuring out how to make things look like they should, and just using different methods to do that. Okay. I got to build up the crown just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little.
what I'm doing is I'm putting in the uh, texture for uh, woven straw. Now, I can't have a real deep recess for the uh, part that goes around the head, on top of the head. I'm just indicating it. All right, I'm going to try to get this to work. This... Uh, has a serrated edge, but it's also curved so that I can uh, work around the uh, curvature that I put into the clay. This is a piano wire tool. The uh, It's from Ken's Tools. And uh, it's flexible because it's a piano wire. And it's also, it's got wove, uh, wound Thin wire around, I guess a core. I don't know how they make piano wire, but anyway, it's good for evening out this uh, area here. Let's see if we got a little problem area right there, and I think I got a bit of something in the clay that's keeping me from sometimes you get foreign material yeah piece of wood so what I do is I just stick the serrated edge in the uh, flame to clean out the uh, grooves or the teeth that works nice in fact it works better when it's a little warm okay let's see how it's going to look Perfect. Let me see if I can light that up in there. Can you see where the opening of the hat is? I didn't need it completely around, but I needed it enough to show that the head does fit into it. Oh, I got to anchor it on there because... It wants to fall. I When I came down here this afternoon, it had fallen down. So I've got to anchor that down. So I'm going to just push this fondue stick in. All right, I'm going to be doing the uh, ribbon. I already indicated the ribbon going around the hat with a wire tool.
I wanted to have the ribbon out there past the hat, but it makes it too difficult to keep it uh, level, well, in the position I want. All right. All right, I'm gonna, last thing I'm gonna do today is just hit this with a little bit of Ronsonol lighter fluid to take down any nodules of clay that are hanging in there. And, uh, of course, before I take a foundry, I'll definitely be tightening up a little bit more on this thing. But for now, I think this looks damn good. And I'm happy. Extremely happy with it. Hi there, everybody. That's the kiss of spring as of today. It's getting closer. Once I get that hand done, it will pretty much be done. I might uh, do some work on the hair again, but for now, I'm just going to call it quits for today. All right, everybody. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.